Hi, this video demonstrates the ability to create map layers on the same map visualization using columns from disjointed datasets. A company has established a chain of fast food restaurants all across the country and the data pertaining to those restaurants are available in this data set. Now let's visualize this in the form of a table. As you can see there are a total of 16 different restaurants spread across different states across the United States. Few of these restaurants are established very close to the interstate highways well, a few of them are located in the suburban and the rural districts. Now, a data analyst of this company has to find out if the close proximity to the interstate has had any impact on the revenue of these restaurants. Now, the first step in doing so is to bring in some data set that pertains to relevant information about the interstates. So, I'm going to go and add a data set which has information about the interstates. Okay, so we have added the interstates data set. These two are completely disjointed data sets. And interstates has two columns and one of the column called highway has a map layer assigned to it. Uh, this map layer has all the information about the various interstates across the United States. So we had downloaded that GeoJSON from the web, uploaded as a map layer into OAC and assigned that particular map layer to the highway column. So I'm going to go ahead and create a map visualization by bringing in the highway column into the canvas. I'm going to assign a color to the various interstate highway. Now the next step here is to actually plot the restaurants on top of this map. Map visualization gives you the ability to plot columns of disjointed data sets as map layers on the same map visualization. So you need to go here and click on add layer and then drag the restaurant la longitude and latitude into the category edge. And that's it. And now we are able to see the restaurants plotted on top of a map which has information about the interstates as well. Now I'm going to bring in the revenue to the size. Okay, so now I'm going to use a map selection tool to focus uh, on restaurants specifically focused in the California region. So I'm going to use this one and choose the option keep selected. So now not only are the restaurants pertaining to the California region selected, but also the interstates that pass through California are the ones that are getting shown on the map as well. And now I'm going to duplicate this with and view the same information as a table. Okay, so now let's zoom in. Now, as you can see, there is this interstate highway I-5 and the restaurants that are located on this I-5, namely the ones in Los Angeles, have had very decent revenue. When you compare that with the restaurant in San Bernardino or Riverside, which are decent suburban districts, the revenue was not that good. Now let's see if the same trend has been observed in other states as well. So now we are back to the original map. Now if I zoom into the Texas region, there are three restaurants that are being set up in the Texas region and two of them are located in the interstate highway I-45 and I-10 and the revenue for those restaurants are significantly better than the ones located in the suburban district of Bryan County. So there is a clear trend that says that restaurants that are established near the interstate highways are contributing much more in revenue than the ones in the suburban and the rural districts. Now this entire scenario is a great example as to how we can have spatial join created in a map visualization without actually joining the data sets. Thanks for watching the video.